Hello, welcome to this video. A couple days ago, I, there was a post on of the uh, Warlord Games uh, Black Seas forum asking if there's a tutorial about sails and flags. And uh, I realized that I hadn't seen one. And you know what? I think that's something that, you know we should have. The sails aren't too difficult, but uh, there's some things you probably want to know to make the best out of your ship. Now, I'm not going to cover flags in this particular one. I'm going to do flags separately. Uh, I went up ahead, went ahead and rigged up uh, one of my ships far enough that we could do uh, the sail demonstration today. And I'll just finish out that ship a little bit further so we can actually do the flags. And then we'll talk about another video uh, after that rat line. So let's start today with looking at how do you put sails on the Black Sea ships. All right, stay tuned. All right, before we get into the actual how do you do it, here's the tools you're going to need, okay? Uh, scissors, you will need it, but you may need. Uh, I'll show you what, you know, shortly why. Uh, exacto tool or blade is really good, really useful to have. Uh, a super glue of some type. I prefer slow acting, but again, use the super glue you're most comfortable with. That's where you get some the, your success. And then tweezers, obviously. And then these are a curling tool, I'll call them, okay? Uh, any round implement, uh, exacto knife with it, not with these ridged blades or uh, handles, but the smooth uh, cylindrical handles, uh, some thin pens or pencils. Uh, this is a leatherworking tool that has a, a nice rubberized handle that's perfect for this. So uh, that'll help you curl the the sails easily and consistently. So that's the tools you need. And with that, let's take a look at actually doing sails. All right. So here's my partially rigged. Uh, Merchant ship. Now the reason I did partial rigging is that you really need to do the rigging before you do the sails. Uh, if you're going to do rigging at all. Simply because it's a lot easier to tie the knots and apply the rigging if the sails aren't in the way. Okay. So having said that though, let's go ahead and take a look at the sails. Right. Now there's a couple different uh, types out there. Uh, the regular frigate and brig set uh, that's this is what's actually included inside the uh, uh, the merchant ship. Let me see if I can. They actually cut it in half. So this is the the actual uh, the set. Okay, and you're going to use in this case we're going to use the the frigate size. But um, a couple things to to note uh, are kind of the top the types of sails. First of all, they're good about marking which mast the sails belong on. Okay, mizzen or the rear main which is the center and the four which is the front obviously yeah then you've got these small triangular ones which they don't label or put in any particular order uh, but these are uh, jib sails jib type sails uh, there are two for the brig three for the frigate and the larger ships the smallest one just as a note is the one that goes closest to the to, to the deck so when you put them in order the largest is further forward uh, on the ship. So we'll go ahead and you know, point that out in a little bit. Alright, before we get, dive into it, let's take a look at the uh, neat thing about the sails themselves. I'll go ahead and use the other card from... Uh, so here's the other... Uh, there's two cards that came in my kit. Because of course there's two for ships. So this will help me illustrate one of the key things you need to pay attention to when you're rigging the sails. And that's the shading on the sail. If you notice, one side, the side with the printed uh, mast indicators, that is actually the front of the sail. And the other side is the back. And if you ever get confused after it, you take it out of the, the sheet, the front of the uh, sail always has a shading at the bottom of the sail. Because again, it's bowing out and the shading is going to be underneath. On the rear of the sail, it's going to be toward the yard arm at the top. And you'll see how we'll do that uh, when we put it on the ship. Okay? So, just in case you put down the, the uh, sail and forget you know, which direction it's supposed to face, that's the quick, easy uh, solution. Now, you can't do that with the lanteen sail that comes on the uh, uh, merchant ships because they are essentially the shade, shading is on the same part. It's always at the bottom. So uh, 
I guess you could consider that you have there's this like curve here, so that kind of indicates the back, but the shading's on the bottom both sides, even though it really should only be on one side. Alright, so let's take a look at this, the general things you need to pay attention to when you're doing sales. First is uh, pay attention to where the rigging is. In most cases, the rigging will be uh, above the yard arm and give you plenty of room to put that sail on, okay? If not, you don't have to ch change anything or worry about it. You can actually make a quick, 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 couple quick cuts on the sail. You'll be able to fit it on there without any issue. And I, I'm hoping that we'll actually be able to illustrate that here today. All right, so now the mizzen uh, sail or the gaff sail or the lanteen sail on the back of the, for these merchant ships, it's essentially you're going to use the same technique. It's just you're not you're only going to have the anchor point along the the actual yard. So, all right. So let's take a look at the first sails. The first thing you want to do is don't rush into this. Go ahead and start with one mast at a time. Okay. And in my case, what I'm going to do is I like to start with uh, the front or the rear, either way, and work forward. Um, just, it just for me, it's just the way I work. It doesn't have to be that way. The only thing you want to do is make sure you do the lowest sail on the mast first. So you're going to do the lower uh, main mast, or the lower mizzen, uh, sorry, lower mainsail, or the mizzen sail, or the foresail. So let's, first thing you do is you simply pop it out. We're going to go ahead, since we actually rigged up the front of the ship, because uh, that's the best progression is work your way back. Uh, we're going to start with the foresails first, okay? So, here's the sheet that has four on it. So you just have to pop the two out. comes out pretty easily. If you need to, a little exacto blade will help you out. All right. Now, you'll notice, we'll start here with the topsail see here. If you just go ahead and place it on there, on the ship, you'll see it's longer than the space between the two yards. That's because you're going to be, uh, you're, it's supposed to be bowed, and the, there's an easy way to do that. But before we do that, let's take a quick look at what kind of clearance we have with that, the sail at the top. If we can place the entire top edge of the sail along the yard arm without any difficulty, we're okay. In this case, it looks like I've got a little bit of super glue that's bled down onto the center of the, the, the top yard, and I can't quite get it all the way up. So, very, very simple. Grab a nice, fine pair of scissors and just cut right in the center. Just put a little kind of a notch. Doesn't need to be big, it just needs to be enough so that you can be able to create a V out of it. And then just pull out the pieces. Need to clean it up with an exacto blade. You can do that. Okay, let me grab my exacto real quick. Okay, so now just cut into the make get all that sail material out. Okay, got yourself a little V. Doesn't need to be big. Just enough that you're going to be able to slip the sail underneath that rigging just fine. Okay? Alright. I wanted to show you that because I knew that that was going to be an issue with the top sail, but that's the first thing you do. Um, when you're putting the sails on, the best thing to do is start with the lower one because you want to have the entire uh, top edge of the mat, uh, sail in contact with the yard arm. 
See, I'll be able to do that perfectly here. All right, so what's going to happen then is the you're going to mount the top edge to the yard arm, and then the bottom corners you're just going to try to mount to the bottom corners, or bottom yard arm tips. So if there's a sail mounted on the top one, you're going to very likely have uh, the corner of the upper sails in the way, and you're not going to get the whole sail on the yard arm. So we're going to start with the bottom, work our way up. But before we put a sail on, we're going to curl it. That's how you're going to get a nice curve. Now, don't use your fingers because it's very hard to get a nice even curve. What I like to do is use an exacto blade or you know the knife, not like this. This one has you know facets and it's a tapered handle. Use the straight round ones. If you don't have one, a pen might work, or a color you know any type of round pencil that's got a smooth surface. I have this uh, particular leather working tool I like to to use. It's a little bit thinner than the pencil, and uh, actually even a little bit thinner than a exacto blade handle but I like that you can always uncurl more uh, so what you do is find the dark shaded top sail that's the rear place it on the top there hold and then just start wrapping like that and just curl it See? and then it's gonna be very very curved Okay, that's okay, you can always uncurve it a little bit. But before we do that, we need to do each of the corners. Because when a sail billows, it billows more in the center than the outside edges. So start down here and curl it up like this. Okay, and then on this side, same thing, at an angle, curl it up. Okay, and there, so now you've got a nice billowing sail. Now at this point we don't know if it actually fits the the spot yet so now we're going to go ahead and just place it. We're not going to glue it yet because we need to make sure it's the right size. So you can see it's even along the top which is very good but you'll see there's a gap down here. Now what I've noticed with the merchant ships is sometimes the, whoops, the rigging and this platform get in the way of these uh, corners reaching the yard arm edge. So you have a choice. You can either let curl this a little bit more and cut a slot in the bottom of the sail, which I per don't particularly like doing, or you can actually just let the glue on the bot uh, touch the bottom of the sail right in the center and mount to the platform and then these the corners will just hang a little bit off what I'm going to do though is I'm going to try to curl these in a little bit more to see if that helps to get a little bit more of a depth to the sail and then I'm going to carefully push this up so that gives me less of a billow on top hopefully that'll extend it far enough and we'll just go ahead and try to set, place it now that's a lot closer okay I think I'm gonna leave it that way okay because it's being supported by that uh, lower stay I think it's going to actually work out just fine so now the easy part uh, simply get uh, your, your whatever kind of super glue you like I prefer a slower type uh, so this is sort of a slower bo uh, bond and then you apply it to evenly which is a very thin bead all along the top back edge of the sail which would be the shaded side that you just curled and just layer on there. You don't want, don't want too much because it'll end up dripping down the sail. Now you can also glue the tips, but in this case, since it's in the center, I'm going to place a little blob of glue. Oops, too much in the center, and that will contact that thread. Now grab that, insert between the yard, the rigging, 
place it evenly on the yard arm and leave her be. There we go. And then let that completely dry before you move on to the next sail. Do not rush these because you don't want to knock the one out. So you can just hold this, the ship uh, vertically to let the sail set. Okay, also we'll be right back when we're done. Alright, so that's fairly close to dry. And again, this is a slower setting glue, so it's not 100% cured. But it's good enough we can continue. So let me kind of demonstrate this again, and we'll work with the top forcel. And what we're going to do is we're going to, again, curl the sail. Okay, with, remember the darkened top of the sail is the back. So again, we curl it around this device, whatever device you choose to use. And again, we're going to curl the corner of the sails, you know, kind of at a 45 degree angle. This is where you get a lot of character in this in the sails. All right, and now again, so it's got a nice bow to it. Then we're going to again place this. Now remember, this is the one we had to put that little V notch in the top because of the uh, glue in the way up here. So that allows us now you can see to get the whole sail on the yard arm. And you'll notice now the corners of the sail touch the lower yard arm. Now if either of these do not touch the lower yard arm, what you'll do is you'll take the sail off and you'll kind of either unbend or you know, like uncurl slightly, push pressure out, or curl a little bit more whichever direction you need to go, okay? Whichever side, because it's all, you just have to play around with it to get it exactly right. All right, but again, now we're just a matter of applying the glue. Now in this case, since it does make contact with the lower corner, we're going to put the glue all in the top and then the two corners. So again, a very small bead. here and then a little bit here and here okay I need a corner all right and then okay fit in the ring set it out there and boom there okay now it's just a matter of waiting let that dry. Now you can see how the corner is just touching. Now if you feel like you need to, you can apply more glue. Now the way I like to do it is I like to use a like a small needle or something like that. Uh, so I'm going to use the, ex the tip of the X-Acto knife actually to do it because that'll work. You're going to use it kind of as a uh, almost a spatula. <laughs> you put a little bit because what I want to do is I want to make sure there's enough glue right here on the corner so it actually bonds now be careful because I just as you see I just knock the sail out of out of line so there but now there's a I can see there's a better contact between the glue and the sail and the, and the yard arm so all right. Now again, we just let that sit until it's dried. All right. So after this, we'll be back and we'll look at the jib sails. All right. I think she's dry enough. It, this is important before you go into the jib sails to work to make sure that glue is as dry as you you know so the, the sails don't shift at all because when you're applying the jibs. You're going to actually have to lay the ship on its side. All right. All right. So now the best thing to do when you get your sheet is to punch out all three jib sails at once because you need to sort them in order with the smallest being closest to the hull. Let's take a look at these. It's easier once they're out to see the differences. And just a hint, they're not in order on the sheet. <laughs>
All right, so let's put these out. And, okay, I'll we'll zoom in a little bit here so that you can get a feel for exactly what this, the jibs are going to look like. Okay. Now let's put them all kind of in, you know, to, all facing the same way. All right. <clears throat> now, in each case, now the, the long edge is what's going to be on the, the, uh, the running line. Okay. The lower, just like in the other sails, on a, on a jib sail, one side is going to have the shading at the top, and the other side is going to have it at the bottom again, because that's the way it's it's sitting it's sitting like this on this on the sail, right, or on the on the line. All right, so look, we've got three sizes. This is the largest, so that's going to be up top. This is the next largest, so this is going to be middle, and then there's this is the smallest. All right. So those are the three sails in the order, and you want to kind of keep them in order so you don't get them mixed up. And you're going to start with the smallest and work your way out. All right, so now I've got the, the three sails again in order, but I've got the, what I'll call the back of the sail uh, pointed up. The back is, again, is the part with the shading near, closer to the uh, top corner, okay, as opposed to the shading being down along the bottom edge. Okay. So anyway, I've got these set up this way because I'm gonna you're gonna curl the sails now. So I'll start with the small one. And let me back out the unzoom here. Okay. So again just like you do with the regular sails, square sails, start with the point so the actual sail edge is parallel to the tool and then just wrap it around squeeze it put some curl in it hold it for a little bit and you're gonna get just a little bit of curl that's all you need the jib sails aren't gonna have a lot of curl to them compared to the main sails because they're much smaller so again maybe you're curling so that the shaded corner is facing you and the corners in the back side of the tool and wrap it around okay. all right so there we go okay all right now we got them now we can go ahead and put them on the ship Okay, again, starting with the smallest. Okay, now you're going to have to pick the three uh, basically stays that you're going to put these on. Uh, I've tried to rig mine up so I've got the correct number of stays as well as jib stays. So uh, I'm going to grab my tweezers here. Okay. Let me show you how this is going to fit on. Okay. So I'm placing them on this outermost uh, this line, the one, two in, and then this one here. Okay. And we're going to be placing it right on the, the thread. So just like we did with the other sails, we're going to apply glue a bead of glue thin right along the back edge of the sail just so we don't want too much because we don't want to have it running down the whole sail but you need to make sure you have enough so that it rides on the, the thread okay so Place this. Oops, some of it got on the outside. I don't want that, so you can wipe it off. Okay. And then place it with the bottom of the sail, bottom corner, on the thread closest to the bowsprit. Okay. 
this is the tricky part. Okay, let me get some uh, paper towel back here to kind of show up. Okay, so we can see. You want to be able to see where the where the actual line uh, sail uh, line is. Okay, Put this back here, placing it right here. You can look at the back side, you can actually tweak it on the back. Okay. Once you have it set, you want to be sure that the sail, oops, the sail has slipped underneath. I told you this was tricky. The jib is anyway. You don't want to have the uh, the actual sail uh, getting on the wrong uh, line. All right, so there it is. So it is just just hanging on. Okay, so now we're going to kind of hold the ship in a, this attitude while it dries a bit. There. But may, again, just a matter of tweaking it to make sure it's on that. And you can see the actual sails, uh, the, the line. See, there it is. Along the thread is right along the top edge. And I just leave that to dry. That has to dry completely. Now this first sail that you're putting on is actually the foundation for the other two. The other two might be large enough to actually overlap slightly, and that's you're going to want that because you're actually going to allow the, some glue to uh, touch. The, the two sails to hold the two sails together as well as on the line. So let's wait till this is dry and we'll get back to the next sail. All right, now we're going to go to the next one. Now, for the next one, you're going to be able to actually use the additional lines to support the sail as it's being glued. So that now is when you're going to be putting the ship on its side to uh, let the glue dry. Okay, and you could do both of these at the same time. But we're going to go with the middle one next. So again, just putting a very thin bead Okay. Then we're going to place it on the next day. Again, it's you want the Lower point of the, the sail down close to the bowsprit, and then let it rest on the next the, the next stay below it. Quickly check the other side to make sure you've got it on the thread well, and it looks like I do. Yeah, so just turn it over, okay. And while it is seeing they're drying get your next one ready and you can go ahead and apply this one at the same time but here what you're going to do is you're going to place because this when this one goes on you're going to use this middle jib sail as an anchor point for this corner of the sail because these will overlap so I'll show you in a second so I'm going to go ahead and with the same thin bead of super glue. Okay. And then a little drop, I mean just a small drop on this corner. Okay. 
Now, boom, there it is. Okay. There we go. Okay. Now just leave it on its side and let it dry. All right, so here it is. So from from the I'll call the back, you will see the the thread is lined up a little on the top edge. In the case of this bottom one, it's kind of hanging there free, but with these other two, you could actually, if you feel like it, apply a little bit of glue on this thread to give this yet another anchor point. However, since I put the glue on the back of this uh, flying jib, uh, or actually it's the sky sail jib, uh, right on the corner of this one, glued it to this, both of these are kind of glued together and they have a little more stability, a little bit more rigidity. So now there's the sails. So that's all there is really to working with the sails. A couple things to pay attention to, but other than that, they're very straightforward to put on. But as you can see, without the rigging, you really can't put on the jibs, obviously. <laughs> um, but putting the sails on really kind of gets in the way of where a lot of the rigging would be. So that's why I recommend you do the rigging first. All right. All right, so stay tuned. Um, I'll see how quickly I can get this done, and next we'll, re we'll kind of visit how do you do the flags. And eventually we'll get to the right lines. All right. Hope you enjoyed this video. Really hope it was helpful. Thanks for the idea. And we'll see you guys in the next video. Bye-bye.